What's up, everybody? This is Trent with SoutheastPitReport.com. We're hanging out here with Alex and Chelsea Grand. How you doing, man? I'm great, man. Awesome. So you guys are on the real sick tour right now with the Word Alive, Sire I like Muscle Flames. How's that going so far? Uh, it's really good. Um, uh, we've been talking about doing a tour with all these bands for a while now, okay. so like it's really cool to be on the tour with a bunch of like, close homies and okay. hanging out and stuff and playing some awesome shows. So, all right, sick. So uh, some fans might understand it, I quite don't, but uh, we're live, you know, the real, that's the last album, but uh, yeah. where'd, the, where'd the sick part for, for your side of the tour come from? Uh, our last two headliners, uh, we used to call like uh, the sick tour, Okay. our first two headliners rather, we called it the sick tour, the sick tour two, and with this one, this is a co-headliner, and we're alive, the album's called Real, so we just call it the Real Sick Tour. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So what's it like, uh, do, you, do you prefer doing like headliners or do you prefer like the whole co-headliner kind of thing? Like what's the difference between like maybe like song lengths at times or, you know, just all that kinds of stuff between like a co-headliner and a normal headliner? Um, I mean, I, I like headlining, uh, unless like obviously a tour like this, it's cool to do co-headlining when like, uh, you know, it's like band like the word live and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I don't mind either way, co-headlining, headlining, it's all good to me. It's, Okay. It's like playing. All right. The cool thing about the co-headliner is that, like, even on days when you're not headlining, you're still playing like the same like long sets. So, like, yeah. The kids that like came out to you know see like the long set from you guys, they still get to see it no matter what. Even if you're the last or second like last. Okay. Yeah. So uh, last year you guys put out uh, Ashes to Ashes. Um, what can you talk about that record in terms of like the oh, themes, lyrics, and that kind of stuff? Where did the inspiration for a lot of those songs come from? Um. It didn't really have like a theme in general. Like we've done, like My Damnation was kind of like a concept album. This album was just more about real life type stuff, real life experiences, and just uh, writing about experiences that I've uh, that have happened to me or I've witnessed or like or have happened to people close to me. Okay. So I wanted to, people to just be able to relate to the lyrics. Right. Um, I was doing some uh, fan scoping in line out there and I was trying to get some fan questions. One of them wanted to know what was the inspiration. For Inspiration for the song Sellout. Sellout? Yeah. Oh, uh, just shitty past friends, my man. I won't name any names. <laughs> okay. Uh, another one asked uh, Jason Richardson, um, in terms of like him being in the band now, what was the writing like for the new stuff versus the stuff like in the past that you've done? What, what element does he bring to the table that wasn't there before? Uh, he definitely, uh, you know, adds quite the uh, technical factor, for sure. But, um, you know, like, we all, like, uh, kind of just did our own thing on this, and it kind of just came out the way it did without anyone really influencing it in a certain way. Like, one of the biggest things, too, was having Pablo on this record, because he wrote, like, songs, too, like, guitar as well. Like, and, uh, you know, Dan was pumping out jams, and it all just kind of came together, and it is what it is now. Okay. <laughs> it worked out pretty good, so. Uh, what do you think the fan reaction to this album? It's been like, going on maybe almost a year now since it's been out, so what, uh... What has been what's been the fan reaction like so far? To uh, it seems like it's been really receptive, like really, really good. Like, um, you know, obviously it's a bit different than our older stuff. You know, it took us three years to put out a new record, so of course it's gonna be a little bit okay. different. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, uh, overall, it's been really good. Like, people seem to be into it. It seems pretty good. So, okay. the songs live have been, uh, you know, the more we play them, the more like people are like singing along and yelling the, the words and stuff. So. Awesome. So, what do you guys got going on in the summer? You got any tours coming up? Or are you guys going to be like writing and recording? Uh, during the summer, we're actually going to be in like Europe and the UK doing uh, the festivals out there. Okay. And then we have an Australian tour coming up, and then one more tour at the end of the year to wrap everything up. And uh, we try to trying to get into the studio as soon as we can early next year. So. Okay, you guys demoing stuff out right now? Or are y'all just writing yeah. everything when you get to the studio? Yeah. No, we we've been working on a bunch of songs. Um, we, so basically, when I get home, uh, I'm just gonna start like messing around with some vocal product pre uh, pre production and uh, we said start demoing out songs. And, and speaking of vocals, um, one thing I've noticed is like the Ashes to Ashes. Your vocal style has more of a, a different, a different kind of like a variation from the past. Like, mm -hmm. what made you kind of like decide to like change it up a little bit with that? Oh, I didn't decide anything. I just think <laughs> I finally learned how to use my voice. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, sweet. Yeah. So um, it's Mother's Day. Uh, what do you, what do you like yeah, to do? It's Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, after this interview, you're probably gonna call me mom. Okay. So uh, what? Where is some? Who's the, like the? I know they're not all here right now, but who's the mama's boy in the band, really? Oh, uh, I don't know. We're all pretty good mama's boys. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got, we got a little bit more fun ones, and we'll wrap it up here. Um, what's the most awkward or unique thing you've ever had to sign from a fan? I've literally signed a penis before. I've not heard that one yet. <laughs> All right. I said it as a joke and whipped it out. I was like, All right, fuck it. <laughs> All right, and one more. Um, who, if you were, if your band was a tribe on Survivor, who would be the first one out, and who would be the winner? Like single members? Yeah. I'd say Pablo would be the winner because uh, it looks like he could survive through that. Okay. Got a lot of meat. <laughs> got a lot of strength. It's really compact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you want to you know let the fans know before we wrap it up here? Um, you know, promote just, or anything? Just like I said, we've been a uh, you know slowly but surely riding and. Um, Plan on trying to have a be in the studio early next year. So okay, awesome. All right, thanks everybody for watching. This is Southeast Pit Report.